what does the video codec do? Is when you're recording the video, you're getting the raw video, it's being compressed um, one image at a time, so to speak, so that it's the file, the, the file size or the live stream is of a reasonable, um, uh, a reasonable size, I should say, um, to be transferred over networks or recorded to your disk. And then when you want to view that video or watch that live event, you need to decompress it, take it from that compressed state and back to the raw image so that you, um, you, know, the, you can see it, you can watch it. Now, there's different codecs, there's different types of compressions. Um, the concepts are always the same. You're trying to find certain things in the image from one frame to the other that are similar so that you don't have to repeat sending that information. So if you have kind of a static you know, uh, scene where there's not a lot of things are changing from one frame to the other if you're taking consecutive snapshots, so to speak. So the codec will realize that and then they were, you know, it will try to say, you know what, instead of repeating all of this, I know I have the same reference image and, and here's the representation how you can recreate, you know, the other frames from. Recreate mean how can you decompress in that case. The other element also is motion. If there's something moving, you need to kind of anticipate how is that object is moving from frame A to frame B, so that instead of sending two frames with the object in position A and the object in position B, you're just sending the frame A with the object in position A, and then where you anticipate that object to be on the next frame or the name frame after, and then you generate that frame. So instead of sending five frames, sort of speak, you're sending one frame and a couple of references so that you can regenerate these frames when you view them. So this is the ability to compress is to take the image, decide what is repeated spatially in that image, what is repeated temporarily, i.e. over time, between one image and another, try to um, take that as metadata, send it over, and then at the receiving end, when you want to decompress, you take the reference image, you apply to it, you know, what is changed spatially from one field to, from one uh, uh, frame to the other, what changed temporarily also, and regenerate that image to be displayed.